What's up everybody? Welcome to the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan and if you are new here, thank you for joining me. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Today on the table, I have another portable voice amplifier. I reviewed one of these a couple of weeks ago and I thought it was a really awesome option for people that lead tours or give fitness classes or speakers or teachers, a great way to amplify your voice on the go. And the one I reviewed last time uh, was a good option, but it was pretty lightweight and uh, um, affordable. This one I have today is from a company called Shidu, I think is how you say it. And uh, this one is much more robust, much more sturdy, and uh, kind of offers a lot more of a rugged feel than the one I took a look at previously. So in this video, I'm gonna unbox this, show you what comes inside, let you know about my experience using it, give you a quick demo, and then let you know why I think it's worth picking this one up compared to the one I reviewed last time. Now, if you're not already, I hope I can get you to become a subscriber by the end of this video. Hit that button, ring the bell, so you don't miss any tech reviews in the future. But enough of that, let's dive into taking a look at this Shidu or Shidu voice amplifier. So first things first on this channel, I like to take a look at the box and the packaging. Uh, this comes in a nice cardboard box, pretty sturdy. Um, on the side, it says this is the green version and it is the M800 UHF. So uh, this is UHF uh, wireless transmission, which is a pretty standard um, wireless frequency band uh, that a lot of amplifiers and microphones use. So nice to see that on there. Um, on the box, it says it's a loudspeaker. I, I would hope so. Uh, USB slash micro SD. It has an aux input and then original sound. I don't know what that means. Um, any other specs on here? 90 hertz to 18,000 hertz frequency response. Uh, suitable for teachers, tour guides, clergies, public speakers, lecturers, exercise instructors, presenters, promoters, and coaches. So a lot of different options for this. If you need to amplify your voice, but not for a, a big stadium, mostly just for a small group right around you, this could be an option for you. So enough chat, let's open this puppy up. Inside, you're gonna see the speaker itself, and uh, we'll start with that, because it's the first thing. And really what makes this one stand out uh, from the other one, aside uh, that I've reviewed in the past, aside from the price being more, is that this one is much more robust. You can see it's got this rugged, in my case, green, um, enclosure. It's got a nice grill on the front, much more professional looking than the last one. And this has got kind of a rubberized feel around the edges and it just feels more sturdy. Um, you kind of click on it. It even sounds kind of more solid and f like filled than the last one, which was pretty hollow. Um, you've got the Shidu branding right there on the side. Let's just go around this um, one by one. This is supposed to be somewhat weatherproof. So it has these uh, kind of protective enclosures here for all the ins and the outs. This one has uh, a microphone input if you want to uh, use a wired microphone. It also has the charging port DC 5 volt in right here. Okay. Um, on the bottom, there isn't anything. On this side, you have micro SD, USB, and aux. Okay. So if we open that up, you'll see the slots for all of those. That allows you to play media from those devices or record what you're saying into those devices. So you've got both of those functionalities there. And then this little thing I can only imagine is a sensor for the microphone, which on this unit is wireless. First, the wired one that we took a look at previously. Um, the last little section is the button layout right here at the top. It's got buttons for mode, um, which would be your Bluetooth pairing. This does have Bluetooth as well. You've got forward and back, um, track skipping, play, pause, and power. And then this little microphone button allows you to select the wired microphone. Uh, on the back, you do have a clip. And then these mounting points right here are for a lanyard, which is included. So showing you what else comes in the box, we have um, this kind of carrying strap. It's got these metal clips. You can hook that right on here and carry this around your neck like so, okay? Boom, just like that. Other things that come in the box are a USB to kind of micro, I think is what that one is, or mini micro USB cable, okay? For charging, they also include a little AC to DC wall plug, which is nice, not a lot of companies do that. And then they include an aux cord, okay? If you want to uh, plug this up um, to, I think, play back the tracks that you record on here, you can use this aux cord, okay? And then last but not least, uh, we have a manual which tells you how to run the product and the microphone, okay? And like I said, in the case of this microphone, it is wireless. So that's another big benefit. You don't have to um, be tethered to the speaker if you don't want to, even though it will be right next to you. Um, just one less thing to kind of deal with. Now, the microphone, I'll be honest, the, the um, headband, I, I'm really not a fan of. It doesn't really offer a lot of adjustability. It's kind of got an awkward angle to it. 
Um, so that's not my, my favorite, um, but it, it works well. And on the actual mic itself, it's got a big rubber plus and minus button to adjust the sensitivity so you can do it without having to look. And then you've got your um, on and off button right there and then the charger for the wireless headset on that side, okay? So putting this on, the loop right here goes down the back of your head like that, okay? And it just kind of like, it tips down. Like I said, I, I haven't found a way to like, I don't know. The layout is not my favorite, but it's pretty easy to put on like that. So I'm gonna hit, uh, hold the power button on the little speaker. There we go. And I'm gonna actually face it towards my little lapel mic, which is what's recording. Okay, and then if I power on this. Okay, and um. HF is connected. Okay, so it lets you know that you've connected and you're hearing some feedback and it's trying to suppress it, which is good. Um, so you won't get as much of a squeal. Um, you can hear me kind of messing with the mic, but pretty good rejection there. Um, again, the squealing is because I'm aiming the speaker at the microphone. Ideally, you would be holding this facing away so that you wouldn't have um, any sort of feedback. Now, um, I can do that, I'll kind of aim it at the wall, but I have the volume all the way up. And it's definitely loud enough to project to a group of people really close to you. Now, one of the cons of this product, um, this headset, you know, I gotta keep saying this, see how this, is drifting down it should be right in front of my mouth but i really can't get it adjusted maybe right right there um in a good spot that will stay it just kind of keeps falling down which in my mind is kind of a, a big flaw <laughs> like you need to have the microphone stay where you need it okay but this seems to be a good spot now um i was wrong initially Ooh, there's a little squeal again i'm just holding this too close um, that's actually a battery readout. Uh, it's not a signal sensor for the UHF microphone. So we're at 98 right now, um, fully, almost fully charged. Um, so you can keep an eye on how much juice you've got left in this. So I've got the volume all the way up. I can kind of adjust it here. Is that down or up? Check, check, check. That seems to be going, I think I'm all the maxed out. So, okay, now I click it. Okay, so now it's going down. And if I click the other one, going back up. So one to the rear is up, the one away is down. Okay. Um, so. All in all, the volume is just as good, or maybe even a, maybe even a touch more than the cheaper one I reviewed last week, as I would hope. But really, I think the big benefit you're getting with this system, I'm gonna turn it down because it's gonna keep feeding back. Um, the big benefit you're getting with this system is a wireless microphone, albeit with a kind of kind of a janky headset. Uh, maybe you know some you can jerry rig it to work a little better, and then a much much more robust amplifier portion. This uh, feels insanely more professional than the one I reviewed last week. So uh, if you're gonna use this regularly, it's gonna get passed around to different people who maybe aren't as familiar with it. Uh, I think that it's worth getting this more sturdy unit um, if it's gonna be used in a commercial setting. Now, as far as the other functions, um, you can just pop micro SD or USB in here with audio files. It supports MP, uh, MP3 and here, let me read you the list because there's a, quite a few different sound file formats it supports. Okay, I lied. So it doesn't actually tell you what formats it supports. I was thinking of the manual from the other one, which I reviewed recently, so, but I'm guessing it's gonna play MP3 files, maybe waves and flax, which are kind of the standard uh, audio formats. Um, so you can play as well as record. Um, the manual goes over how to do that. Um, as far as the recording, it's the button number five, which is going to be the uh, microphone button right there. You just click that and it will start recording the file. Click it again to stop it. The audio quality for playing back music, nothing to write home about. Uh, that's more if you want some like maybe track underlying your voice, but really I would focus on this mostly for the voice. And again, sound quality wise, it's thin, it's nothing. Uh, you're not expecting, you know, a professional PA speaker, um, but this is more about portability. And I think it does that very well. So if you are someone that needs amplification on the go, you speak to groups of people um, and you wanna be able to wear your speaker, this is a good option. So I will include a link down in the description. If you wanna pick one of these up, you can buy it through there and support the channel. I would of course love you for it. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I've earned your subscription to get you back here for more tech reviews in the future. Again, thank you for being here today and I will see you next time.